Hello everyone. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Sources followed are Indian Express, Down to Earth, PIB, and Science Reporter. Let's start. Question 1 with reference to the 17th Annual Status of Education Report, ASER, report, released recently, consider the following statements. 1. As the pandemic ebbed, School enrollment touched a record high in 2020 to 98.4% children in the 6 to 14 age group are now in school, up from 97.2% in 2018, when the last full pre-pandemic survey was conducted by Pratham. To the proportion of girls not enrolled in schools has increased across age groups. 3. In 2022, the basic reading ability of children in class 3 dipped by 6.8 percentage points from 27.3% in 2018 to 20.5% in 2022, and that of students in class 5 came down by 7.6 percentage points from 50.4% in 2018 to 42.8% in 2022. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 2 and 3 only Answer is B. The proportion of girls not enrolled in schools has also reduced across age groups. For girls aged 11 to 14, this share dropped from 4.1% in 2018 to 2% 2 in 2022. Back in 2006, the share of out-of-school girls in this age bracket stood at 10.3%. But it's the drop in learning levels foundational skills in reading and arithmetic that has confirmed the worst fears about the pandemic and its impact on children. For instance, between 2014 and 2018, learning levels in terms of reading and basic arithmetic had been rising gradually. The proportion of class 3 students who were grade-ready or could read a class to textbook had gone up from 23.6% in 2014 to 27.2% in 2018, while those in this grade who could do at least subtraction rose from 25.3% to 28.1%. However, in 2022, the basic reading ability of children in class 3 dipped by 6.8 percentage points from 27.3% in 2018 to 20.5% in 2022 and that of students in class 5 came down by 7.6 percentage points from 50.4% in 2018 to 42.8% in 2022. A say 2022 states that nationally, the percentage of children aged 11 to 14 who are enrolled in government schools has risen from 65% in 2018 to 71.7% in 2022. While the period from 2006 to 2014 saw a steady decrease in proportion of children in government schools, it plateaued for the next four years only to rise to 71.7% in 2022. Question 2 with reference to superconductivity, consider the following statements. 1. Superconductivity is a set of physical properties observed in certain materials where electrical resistance vanishes and magnetic flux fields are expelled from the material. To a superconductor has a characteristic critical temperature below which the resistance drops abruptly to zero. 3. The superconductivity phenomenon was discovered in 1911 by Albert Einstein. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is A. Superconductivity is a set of physical properties observed in certain materials where electrical resistance vanishes and magnetic flux fields are expelled from the material. 
Any material exhibiting these properties is a superconductor. Unlike an ordinary metallic conductor, whose resistance decreases gradually as its temperature is lowered even down to near absolute zero, a superconductor has a characteristic critical temperature below which the resistance drops abruptly to zero. The superconductivity phenomenon was discovered in 1911 by Dutch physicist Heik Kemerling once. Question 3 Consider the following statements about Bardeen Cooper Schrieffer, BCS, theory. 1. The theory describes superconductivity as a microscopic effect caused by a condensation of Cooper pairs. 2. The theory is also used in nuclear physics to describe the pairing interaction between nucleons in an atomic nucleus. 3. It was proposed by Bardeen, Cooper, and Schrieffer in 1957. They received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for this theory in 1972. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only B. 1 and 3 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 3 only Answer is A. BCS theory or bardeen kupern schrieffer theory, named after John Bardeen, Leon Cooper and John Robert Schrieffer, is the first microscopic theory of superconductivity since A. Kemerling Wanzer's 1911 discovery. It was proposed by Bardeen, Cooper, and Schrieffer in 1957. They received the Nobel Prize in Physics for this theory in 1972. Question 4. What is hybrid immunity? One hybrid immunity is gained from a previous infection plus vaccines, either the primary doses or both primary and booster doses. Two hybrid immunity offers a higher magnitude and durability of protection as compared to infection alone, emphasizing the need for vaccination. Three also known as superhuman immunity. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. One only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is C. Question 5. Consider the following biodiversity hotspots of India. 1. Western Himalayas. 2. Eastern Ghats. 3. Indo-Myanmar landscape. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. Answer is B. India has four biodiversity hotspots Eastern Himalayas, Western Ghats, Indo-Myanmar landscape and Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Thank you everyone. Do subscribe UIAS channel.